Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach and the host of the Take Your Life Back Today show. As an addiction recovery coach, I want to share something with you and let me be crystal clear to leave an everlasting impact upon you. Imagine, just imagine being buried alive. You're in a coffin, but you know you're not dead. You don't know how to get out of that coffin. You just think, maybe if I bang on the lid, I will be able to open the lid. But the dirt that's upon the lid is so heavy, it won't budge. You just think you're going to die. But then you start kicking with your knees. You buckle your knees and you kick really hard to unsettle the dirt. Maybe someone on top might notice and start digging their way down towards you. This is what it's like to find yourself at the lowest point of alcohol and drug addiction. You know you need help. You know you can't do it on your own. But you don't know where to turn to get this help. In reality, folks, there are people standing by your grave. You just don't know that. You just think you're going to die. Usually, though, people don't think about death when they're habitually abusing drugs and alcohol. In order to feed an addiction, you have to be great at repressing the fear of death. I often ask you, my audience, did it ever cross your mind that maybe, just maybe, while you were drinking and drugging and abusing those two substances so terribly that you might just overdose, take something that was preciously given to you by the Lord Jesus Christ called life away from yourself. More selfishly, you're taking that life away from your children, your grandchildren, husband, wife, all the people that love and care for you most, you are taking that life away by abusing drugs and alcohol. With this, let me leave one last thought. Folks, don't be the person I'm reading about that went to the grave and didn't seek help in time. Instead, be the person that reaches out for help and says, help me, I need help, and I need help soon. Today, Call me at 844-405-HELP, and I promise I will help you take your life back, my friend, before your life is gone. There are people like Larry Geis from the Geis Academy at 516-458-2741. That's 516-458-2741. Larry Geis is an addiction recovery coach, a life coach. He will help you from your addiction to your recovery, from your depression to happier times, from low self-esteem to higher self-esteem. You can Google him at www.odysseyconsultant.org or you can call him at 516-458-2741. Larry and I always tell people like you, it doesn't matter where you came from. It doesn't matter where you've been. What matters most is that you're reaching out for help. And Larry, guys, is standing by his phone at 516-458-2741. He's watching his website. You can go there at www.odysseyconsultant.org. You can find him on Facebook also under Larry Geist. That's L-A-R-R-Y-G-I-S-E. Larry Geist from the Geist Academy, 516-458-2741. Yesterday's edition, I talked about Alaska and how precious um, my life felt when I saw how much I have going for myself, when I got to see how little most of the natives have and how happy they are, are with nothing that they have. And that goes to show you that if you apply what God gives you and you apply 100% of your time and effort to it, that no matter how little or how much you have, you'll do just fine. Survival is amazing, but you have to have that will to live. And what better will to live than to create a miracle mindset to have all your wishes come true. I love this quote, and this quote came from Wayne Dwyer, and it says, Heaven on earth is a choice you must make, not a place you must find. While we don't have a choice about absolutely everything in life with enough awareness, there are four key aspects that we usually create on autopilot, which can become choices instead of default reaction to another person or situation. How we feel is number one. How we behave is number two. And which people and situations we attract to become attracted to is number three. And what meanings we assign to what happens with these four aspects of life and mind. Let's look at how we can find peace of heaven in every day by choosing a miracle mindset. Let's go to the first one. Acknowledge that when it comes to following your dreams, you may initially come up against resistance fear, and overwhelmness. Whenever you work on yourself and experience change and transformation, it may feel unsettling and too much to begin with. What's important is to honor where you are and the name that elephants that's in the room 
If you're scared, say it. Once you acknowledge your resistance, remind yourself of where you are going, where you're, uh, why you're doing, what you're doing, and what is the prize and the payoff at the end. Here's a tip. Remember that fear is sneaky and a bit like sugar. It can hide out in almost everything we want it to be, do, and have. But like sugar, it can also be dissolved. Dissolve your fear by thinking of it as a false evidence appearing real. Number two, ask yourself questions that will keep you focused at all times. Does this make me more of who I really am? Or will this make me more of who I become to be? We're all here to experience as much joy as possible, and that comes when we're feeling alignment with our truest selves. Number three, stand strong in the face of no agreement. When we follow our dreams, there are going to be times when our gut or intuition suggests that we do something that makes absolutely no sense on paper or to the minds of others. Even though we may have finally embarked on something we've wanted to do since we were children, self-doubt, self-sabotage, self-destruction, disempowering beliefs, and self-creating rationalization against going for it may rear its ugly resistance and blending into masses that can feel like the more comfortable option. But it's our ability to stand firm to our commitments and face of no agreement that we find our ability to manifest miracles and our own greatness. Remember, course correction can be done at any time. Have the faith that by continuing to take consistent action, you will get what you are choosing to look for. And you are not alone. Know what's best for you as much as what other people want you to get. Number four. Be willing to be surprised and be guided by something larger than yourself. To experience miracles, forget about yourself. Reach out and ask how you're doing and how it can be service to others in a good way. How do you know if you're making a choice from your higher self? Gauge everything on the basis of how you feel right now. Are you stressed out? Are you anxious? Fearful? Angry? Or are you just plain board? Is there a life with a purpose in your background? Does your life have meaning today? When you operate from your authentic self, bliss and happiness is your response. Number five, refuse doubt and do not engage in negative thinking. For negative thinking gives you negative results, positive thinking gives you positive results. If you do find yourself engaging in negativity, shift the focus by reaching for thought that feels better than the current one you're thinking. Shift yourself into a state of eagerly anticipated what is coming next. It's when we decide to live with an attitude of something miraculously is about to happen that miracles do show up and our wishes really come true. Above all, express a gratitude. By giving thanks and really feeling your appreciation for all that you have through your energy, you become magnetic to more people and your gratitude and your thankfulness and your positivity will wear off on other people every single day. These are the five ways to create my miracle mindset to make your wishes come through. Acknowledge that when it comes to following your dreams, you may initially come up against resistance, fear, and overwhelm by not just your own thoughts, but by other people. Number two, ask yourself a question that will keep you focused. Does this make me more of who I really am, or will this make me more of who I've become here to be? We're all here to experience as much joy as possible, and when it comes to we need to start feeling alignment between each other. Number three, stand strong in the face of no agreement. When we follow our dreams, there's going to be times when our gut or intuition suggests that we're doing, we do something that makes absolutely no sense on paper, but yet it is our dream and we follow through. And when we follow through with our dreams, although it might not make sense on paper, things start to happen.
Number four, be willing to be surprised and be guided by something larger than yourself. To experience miracles, forget about yourself. Reach out and ask how you're doing uh, and how you can be service to other people with what you have. Remember, we spoke about the Native Americans in Alaska. For what they don't have, they really do have. And what I really mean by that is the little they have, they make the most of what they do have. I always look at things as the glass is half full, not half empty. Yes, they have little, but they make the most, and we have the most, and utilize so little. So what is wrong with this picture, folks? This goes to show you, no matter how much you have, it will not buy you happiness. It will not give you completion. It will not make your miracles come true. It's what you utilize for what you have, whether it being little or a lot, that's the outcome that you're looking for. And number five, number five was refuse doubt and do not engage of negative thinking. Folks, the folks out there that we spoke about yesterday, that I just brought up again, the Native Americans in Alaska, in the Arctic Circle villages and surrounding villages, they think positive. They set in the early morning hours to look for their dinner. Their dinner could be a moose, a deer, a seal, a walrus. They set their minds and they go out hunting. You and I, we could just go to the supermarket and buy our food. But no, nothing stops them. They will not have any negative thoughts. They think positive that today is the day they get their food for themselves and their family. And this is how we have to operate in life, folks. Positive thinking gives you positive results. Negative thinking gives you negative results. So start today by thinking positive. You can accomplish whatever you put a mind to. You can do whatever you want. There should never be, I cannot. I can, I can, I can. I will, I will, I will, and I will succeed in what I do. Let today be the first day of your new life. It could be a new life of uh, getting rid of your addictions of alcohol and drugs. It could be a new life of start thinking positive and being nice and calm. It's so important when you do good for others, things will happen good to you. Folks, I hope to God, no matter where you watch me, you have the best day of your life. I hope and I pray, no matter what, where you watch me, that you have a sober rest of your life, a positive rest of your life, and eliminate the negative thinking, because that will eliminate the negative lifestyle you might be leading. Think positive, positive things will happen, and may God bless you.